Juan Daniel, and welcome to my YouTube channel. We here at the channel are continuing in our series of videos with respect to education, information, inspiration, guidance, advice. I'm going to do one more video uh, for today about Rabbi Moshe of Kobrin. I'll be doing more videos. This is just uh, it for today. Um, a poor chassid came to Rabbi Moshe. And when I say poor, I'm here to tell you this guy was poor. Destitute, abject poverty. Could barely feed himself and his family. And he goes to Rabbi Moshe and he says his wretched circumstances was an obstacle to him learning and praying. It was, uh, he was having a hard time. So what did the Rebbe Moshe say? He says, in this day and age, the greatest devotion, even greater than praying and learning, consists in accepting the world exactly as it happens to be. This is hard. This is hard. Um, things happen to us. Um, loss of employment, death, divorce, poverty, all sorts of troubles, all sorts of tsuris. And you're trying to lead a good life. And like, why? Why is this happening? Why is this happening to me? I'm, I'm doing my best. And the hard thing to do is to accept that this is the will of God. It's happening for a reason. We don't know what the reason is, but it's happening for a reason. I'm not saying that you shouldn't try to improve things. You should. But when things happen, they happen for a reason. And the frustrating part is that we're usually not in on the reason. And um, we sometimes say, despite our efforts, if things are going a certain way, he says, you know what? For the time being, this is the will of God. Maybe I'll overcome it in the future. Maybe things will change. Maybe I'll have better luck. Maybe something will come to me. But the way things are today, it's the will of God. And um, accepting that is tough. Again, don't let this idea of it's the will of God make you complacent. Chas v'sholem. The example I give is you're standing beside a pool and a little child is drowning, you don't stand there saying, oh, what a shame, it's the will of God that this poor kid drowns. God forbid! You're there for a reason. This is happening for a reason, and maybe the reason is for you to save that child. Um, don't be complacent. But at the same time, if despite, your, if despite your efforts, things go a certain way, it's for a reason. I don't know what the reason is, but it's for a reason. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back, please watch, please learn, and until next time, I'm Daniel. And thank you too much.